Hello everyone, I'm Lightsaber9, aka Christopher, and today in this video I will be showing you the, uh, how I made a game for a game jam, the community game jam hosted by many YouTubers like Psycoop, Brackies, Jibrils, Blackthorn Prod, and I don't remember any other ones, but, do you mind? So yeah, I'm going to show you how to, how I did that, and the game is really short. But I made it in four days, and I think it's pretty cool. So, thank you all for watching, and goodbye. So when the theme was announced, on the first day, I was busy. I was recording a video, a Minecraft video. And so I just, I looked at the theme. The theme was, the game is a liar. So, I was just playing Minecraft, trying to think of some game ideas. I can't remember any of the other, like the first ones, but the one I ended up going with was... You would have, it would show a character, and it would give you three things about them, where two are true, and one is a lie. But, you come to find out at the end, without spoiling, mm, no, nah, actually, I won't spoil it. If you guys want to play, there will be a link to the itch.io page, and to the game jolt page in the description. So what I'm making here, is the very start, or not the very start, but... When you first learn about what the game is, I'm making the system that allows you to see the text and then skip to the next text, rather than it just skipping automatically like I used to do in some of my games that I made. The next thing I set up was the actual part where you choose whether the person lives or dies. Now, here's an example I had. Uh, this is Dan. He has killed someone, likes dogs, donated to charity. Now. Again, two of those are true and one is a lie. Two of them are relatively good and only one is bad. So you would assume he's good and then you'd let him live. That's kind of how the game was meant to be. And all the programming was just setting all the text. So once you hit live or die, it would just set to the next guy. After I did that, I started up the part where it tells you how the game is going to be played and it shows your guide. And I also made a small little jingle. Then I started working on a splash screen, and it came out like this. I'm kind of proud of how it turned out. I also made it so the game actually starts once you get past the initial text part. Kind of. I then added Dan in and made another little jingle to go with the whole thing. Once I added more people in, the programming started to look a little bit like this. It was also around this time that I actually had an interview for Domino's. After said interview for Domino's, I did a lot of work. I added three people, including me, my girlfriend, and my best friend. Ha! <laughs> and they all have, everyone has their own unique death animation, which I don't remember if I showed it in video. But if you want to look at check it out, then you should download the game. Link in the description. I also added one of the few endings. And apparently I added these clips in the wrong order. But everyone has their own animation and their own death animation, as you will soon see. Oh yeah, and I made the bullet sound. And apparently that's all the clips that I have recorded. So, I'll end the video here. I know it's short, but I just thought I should get this out, because I thought it was a pretty cool process. So, thank you guys for watching. If Again, if you want to play the game, links in the description on GameJilt and itch.io. The title of the game is Live or Die, and there are three endings, so you can find them all. They're not hard. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Hey, hey, hey.